Then the team with uh, with no losses is the team of Randy and Trisha. Dennis and Sandra have a uh, have only lost to this team, and they've came right back to try to revenge that loss. In the last match we saw these two play, it was an absolute shootout. Both girls were, were banging in triples. Trisha Pluff at one point was averaging nine marks a turn um, throughout some of the uh, some of the legs. So if she's in, still in that kind of form, I can't see there being any other uh, um, way to uh, call this match. So they'll... To do the uh, the standard niceties, the shaking of the hands, the wishing of the well guards, the, the all the best, and they'll fire away. Dennis did win the cork, so Dennis and Sandra will have the start. This uh, this first match will be best of three, first to two, all cricket. We do play the format of the team with the least amount of losses. So because Randy and Trisha don't have a single loss, we will be playing the winners bracket format. More often than not, in matches like this, it really comes down to the, the difference in the women. Which woman will play better is where I would put my money. And we've seen Trisha have a lot of matches where she's thrown two triples a turn. And we've seen Sandra be very steady with a, at least one triple a turn. But both players coming away with three marks that turn. So deadlocked right now as far as the women is concerned. The difference being the fact that... Dennis opened up with four, and Randy only followed with two. Dennis finding that triple 20. Might take a little bit for uh, all these players to kind of get their legs in this big uh, big match, especially Randy and uh, Trisha. Do you, think, uh, do you think waiting all this time is going to be a huge deficit for them? It's certainly a factor. They, they won the King Seat match quite early. And they've waited for everyone to battle it out in the other two brackets to finally end up here. And even then, it's still a long wait. We uh, we started this, this event early, early in the morning, and these two have been battling. I would say they've probably been sitting for an hour and a half, two hours. Now, I don't know what they were doing in the meantime. I, myself, playing for $50,000 would have been on the closest board, and I'd have been warming up. I have no doubt that they were doing that as well. Yeah, both both knew the uh, the importance of this uh, of this match and of this uh, of this tournament overall. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised at all. And actually, I can tell you that uh, their finals match was called at twelve fifty, and we are now at four fifty. So they've been sitting for oh yeah. They've been sitting for a very, very long time. Now, obviously, that's not when the match was concluded, but that is when the match was called. Um, so, uh, so yeah, depending on uh, what these guys chose to do in their uh, in their downtime, um, that it could be a huge deficit. But it looks like everybody's starting to get their uh, feet underneath them. Um, well, and it's going to take a little bit of time anyways, playing for this amount of money, just to settle in. All the players are going to come out with that the bit of anxiety, knowing that they're playing for that much money. And then we're going to hit a stretch in the middle of this match where they're all going to get comfortable and the darts are going to start flying better. And then towards the end, it's going to go the complete opposite way where they're going to tighten up again because now the opportunity to win or lose $50,000 is on the line. Yeah, and we might see that come down to uh, game-winning shots. So far through this match, Dennis being the on-form player. Yeah, Dennis doing a good job of controlling that 20. Not leaving any uh, anything to chance. But Randy does have a number he can score on. Here at this event, the Tournament of Champions, Randy's certainly a very experienced player, but not comparison to Dennis. Dennis a two-time champion. So on that side of it, you have to expect Dennis to play better in this match. Yeah, Dennis has got the the pedigree in these in these high dollar uh, um, events and high dollar matches. Um, Sandra as well. 
um, has been has been putting in everything that uh, she needed to to help get the team back to this uh, this finals match. Trisha sticking in there on the 17s does come away with three solid. Does not end up taking the point lead though. So Dennis with a with a legitimate chance here to uh, to get some points back and then close down that 17 if he chooses. So just to hit on their averages a little bit, ex experience aside, these two men are only separated by .04. In averages you have Randy coming in with the higher average actually with a 4.669 and Dennis coming in right behind him with a 4.621 so little divides these two other than experience however on the women's side I would say the experience as well as the average sits with Trisha Romero Trisha with a 3.353 average compared to Sandra Erdman with the 2.924 Yes, so about a point four difference there on the women's side. And I know Trisha's very experienced in darts. She's, she's been around for a good while. She's been one of the top females in the soft tip game for quite a while. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not Trisha's first rodeo for sure. So Dennis here with a commanding lead, stepping up. May choose to just go ahead and try to close that 16, and that looks like he's what he's going to try to do. Does come away with just three, but uh, the lead is is such a big one that uh, it would take a lot from Randy here to uh, to turn this leg around. Oh, and Randy only comes up with a single 15 on that turn. Yeah, he, so far in this leg, he's had a lot of unfortunate darts that were just one hole out or right next door. So that 3.67 average is not indicative to what he has been throwing. It, they've been better than that. They just haven't went in. Trisha here stepping up, stepping up, trying to fill up that bullseye. Trying to get something going here at the end of the leg. But it's probably at this point just academic. As Dennis Sandin steps up here with a hat trick to put his team one leg to the good in this, the final of the $50,000 Mixed Doubles Invitational. There it is. Now we are back to the uh, winner's bracket, so we will be playing best two out of three, and it will be all cricket. If this leg finds Dennis and Sandra winning, we will go to the first loser format, which is cricket 01 cricket. And again, if Dennis and Sandra are uh, triumphant, we'll go to a sudden le death leg of cricket. But we still got a lot of darts before any of that stuff happens. We'll see Randy kick off uh, a leg of cricket here and see if they can't tie up this, uh, this first set. Yeah, although the format has reverted down to two out of three, it still leaves a lot of room for both teams to know that they can lose a match or two and still be in this thing. There we see Randy right the ship there after an errant first start with two uh, trip 20s. Dennis starting his campaign in the second leg very, very well with a seven mark of his own. Oh, and Trisha only finding a single mark there. Yeah, pretty terrible shot for, for Trisha based on her standard of play thus far. We'll see if Sandra is able to punish her for that. Oh, and 
Sandra only comes away with a two mark herself. So neither lady taking advantage of the other one. Missing. <laughs> Randy stepping up here. Gonna try to right the ship on the uh, the twenty. Again, plays pretty aggressive going down at that nineteen. But no worries, comes back with a big trip twenty. And we've seen this all day from Randy. The reason or part of the reason they're in the king seat position, needing to be triple dipped, is because Randy, when his back's against the wall, seems to find these big shots that are just game changers. We saw the big nine in the, the king seat match against Don, where he went trip 18, trip 18, triple 20, and that really broke the back of, of Don and his partner, uh, Kim. The, and, it, and it made Trisha get fired up, and she came back. And here we see, after dropping the first leg, here comes Randy firing in a 6.5. So he, he has a way about him of just stepping up once the game gets going. Oh, and Trisha does find a big triple. Yeah, I think you've summed up uh, Randy straight away. Um, he seems to do better when his back is against the wall. If he needs to have it, it's probably going to go in. Sandra, though, I've been impressed with all day. Oh, and does not come away with a triple. And I think uh, I th think maybe there's a little bit of fatigue maybe setting in. Um, getting a little bit more disappointment the highs might be higher, the lows might be lower a little bit uh, uh, for some of these players. Wow, and an interesting shot there from Randy. I'm not sure where the first one was going because it was closer to the 17 than the 19, but I have to assume he threw towards the 19. It was just a bad dart. But then he does catch the triple 20 to increase that point lead. And after a risky dart at the 19, he leaves Dennis a chance here because he did not find the triple. Dennis going to let him off the hook, though. Needs to right the ship here with a trip 19. Ah, and he finds it. Good last dart from Dennis. Trisha, power closing the 19s with a triple. Oh, and a big trip 20 as well. Finally, we see some of uh, Trisha's true colors coming out here. See if Sandra can uh, do the same for her team. Sandra just going to hold steady with two marks a turn. Not not what she wants. She, uh, she's a much better player than that. We've seen her play better than that. I wonder if the pressure's getting to her. And this, the most pressure-packed match that I've ever been a part of. Oh, and a big last again from Randy. Pulling the ripcord on trying to close that 18. See Trisha back there giving the high fives. Enjoying enjoying this so far. And you have to. I mean, that's that's what's going to make this easiest is if you can have fun. Put the money aside. Put the 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 feed and the, the cameras and all of that behind you. And just know that you're playing darts. I assume she gets along well with Randy. They've been doing so well today. You're, you're shooting darts with a friend. And you're just hoping to win. You, the competitiveness comes out in you. And you want to have fun and do well. Great shot there. Closing down the 18s and getting 60 more points. Sandra does end up finding a triple there. It's at least one less that Randy and uh, Trisha can point on. Yeah, still way back, though. I, I, I imagine Randy's feeling pretty comfortable in this leg. You're just going to want to look to close that 17, possibly a little more. But make sure you get that 17 is really the important part. And he does just that. And like a good Euchre partner, he's sprouting over there on the 16s. Dennis, arguably the most decorated TOC player ever, looking to add another notch on the belt with a mixed doubles invitational title. This would be uh, this would be some resume if Dennis were able to pull this out. Yeah, his dollars per hour at the TOC would be quite uh, quite good if he was able to pull this one out, and already have two f uh, finale wins under his belt. Sanders stepping up here, last ditch effort over on the 15 corner. Does come away with a seven mark. 
A very good shot from Sandra. Pulling her team back in it and applying a, a, a little bit of pressure on Randy. He's going to need to close that 15 now. Manages to do that with the second dart. And puts a little extra points on there to push the bullseye even farther. So now, Dennis steps to the board needing six bullseyes to get the point lead instead of only five. Again, not a whole lot in between these uh, these two men players or these two female players. No, you see there at the bottom of uh, of the board, both women deadlocked at a 3.2. So the difference now is only that of going first, really. And Trisha again with the white men can't jump, leaving that arm hang out there as that double bull goes in. To tie us up at one leg apiece, we will now move into a cork where winner of this will start the third game of cricket. For those that don't know, on the cork in this game, we do count the holes. So closest to the dead center hole, which is commonly referred to as the pee hole, will go first in this game. Oh, and a good dart high on that uh, on that double bowl. Yeah, I guarantee Randy does not love the placement of that dart. No, though it's not a double, that is a great placement. And somehow, I if he managed to pull that out, that's a heck of a dart. And it looks like he might have. I think everyone's in a little bit of shock. Yeah. Because he even hit Dennis's dart. It looked like he, he went through Dennis's dart rather than around. No, that was uh, <laughs> the cork muscle is strong with yeah. that one. Or it could have been uh, Don Stewart off to the side blowing on his darts. Highly unlikely. Randy threw an excellent dart there. To, to be able to do it under this kind of pressure, that's an incredible dart. So Randy again with the all-important start here in the f final leg of the first set. Comes away with a big triple 20 in the last start. Yeah, he needed that. And th this third leg so important. He did not want to relinquish the 20 to Dennis and Sandra. No, that is, that is a big toy and that's a big weapon to wield. Dennis really going to have to turn it around here on the 19s. And we can oh. see here in this third leg how important it is. You see the pressure mounting. Both players throwing less than they were in the, the two games prior. Yeah, this is, this is a big moment for each of these players. They know one team could have their first loss, and the other team could have their all-important second loss. And there we see Trisha really, really opening up the gears, tripping that 19 and the 18 to take that, uh, that point lead and a numbers game. They have three open numbers now. Yeah, quite possibly the most experienced dart player in this match is Trisha. She has many of ladies' titles in her time, and she's showing that the moment is not bigger than her. She's bigger than the moment. Well, and 50 grand on the line. I, I dare say that that's probably the biggest any one of these uh, players has played for. So that's a, that's a big motivator. Oh, and Randy kind of lets them off the hook there with a, only a single mark. Yeah, if we look at the averages, I mean, Trisha with a 7.0 compared to the 2.5 of Randy being the second highest. She's very close to single-handedly winning this leg. She really is. She's looking at uh, Randy saying, jump on, let's go do this. <laughs> if she can carry Randy, she's got a strong back. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, she's doing a great job. Could she close both corners? Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good look at it. Slides into the single 15 for another big, big shot. We see that her average dropped to 6.5, but that's only because she was throwing in a closed number uh, with her first dart. She goes single, triple, triple. So still seven marks, but only gets credit for six. So here comes Randy trying to just fill in the blanks, if you will, because Trisha's not leaving many. <laughs> yeah, Trisha is definitely, definitely writing this all by her, uh, by herself. But there we see Randy doing exactly what he should when his par partner's playing so well. He's just adding a, a few little uh, icings on the cake for her. Well, to think, this all started with that excellent cork by Randy. And that made Trisha comfortable enough to walk up there and put in that seven mark. And the rest is history in this leg.
So Trisha gonna look to finish this leg off, only needing two bulls. The way she's throwing now, I wouldn't be surprised if the first dart isn't dead center. She might throw the other two on the table. I'm glad she did. And there she is. Miss Trisha Romero finishing that one off in excellent style, averaging a 5.63. So we're gonna do this all over again, except now. Uh, well, actually, no, it stays with this same format because Trisha and Randy still only have zero losses. It still remains their format of winner's side all cricket. So we're going to see at least two more legs of cricket here in the MDI Gold $50,000 Mixed Doubles event. Randy there with not such a glorious uh, cork will uh, relinquish the start and at least this first leg to uh, Dennis and Sandra. Yeah, but now you got to imagine that Randy and Trisha are feeling a lot more comfortable. They know they only have to win one more match. And Dennis and Sandra cannot lose one. Yeah, the back is definitely against the wall for the uh, for the team of Randy or Dennis and Sandra. They had a, a loss to give, and they've given it. Oh, Dennis. Chatting himself up there, frustrated with that uh, close start. Yeah, only making one dart count out of three is subpar darts for Dennis Sandin. And Randy, looking to keep going on that high that they're coming off of from the last three legs. Sandra here, come try to do... Uh, what Dennis was trying to do and control that 20. Yeah, the 20 being the most important number in the in any leg of cricket, just because it is worth the most. If you can get out firing and you put in some uh, some big shots on that 20, you can really put a lot of pressure on your opponent to have to throw more than you. Yeah, that's and and that's the idea. If you if you can keep a hold of that uh, that weapon, it's constantly going to put the other guy in. Uh under pressure because their triples are just not going to be worth as much as yours. Yeah, they can't match you. They have to better you. It's like uh, it's like your little baby. You just want to protect it. Don't don't ever give them a chance to take your baby. No, I think that's uh, that's good advice across the across the board. And that's why it's like your baby. So here we see Randy straight into that triple. Uh, Trisha with a tough turn. Uh, but Randy now making up the slack. Again, aggressive shot. But I like that, especially with the 20, because just as much it is, as it is somebody's baby, it's just as important to try to take that away as soon, as, as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's just, it's just as I was just saying. You you don't want to give them that opportunity. If, if Dennis had stayed on the 20 the last time, rather than trying to throw at the 19, he would have taken that opportunity away from Randy. Or Randy would have had to do it down and score. So in a worse position, he now has to take that that gamble, if you will. And Trisha, right in the ship straight away, big nine mark. And why would she leave? I mean, two triples, you stay there all day long, fill it up, a pile and a half, nine marks on the 19 for Trisha Romero. If that girl had three more darts, she would have hit three more triples in that turn. We'll see you on the next turn. So here we see Dennis come back up with 100 points. Randy, all he can do is smile. He knows his partner's playing well. Oh, yeah. that He's buying her some champagne after this. <laughs> and he's going to have a lot of scratch to do it with if they keep this going. Yeah, Randy no slouch himself. Look at that. Back-to-back -back nine marks for the team that won the king seat. I mean, they've clearly been the best team all day long. Nobody really challenging them. The, and this is why. Both of them feed off of each other. Big shot follows big shot. And that's what we've seen from them all day long. Good follow, though, from Sandra. But after the back-to-back -back nines, with, uh, with this team going second, they have established... Anytime two players on the same team are the two highest averages on the board, it's going to be a one-way traffic. It's going to be tough to overcome, for sure. 
So there we see a good last start triple from uh, from Trisha again. Dennis getting frustrated. The darts just don't seem to want to go in. Oh, and he bangs right next door again. Yeah, unfortunate there for Dennis. It He was all over the triple 18. They just didn't go in. So Randy now, the BA official, walking to the board, looking to keep this going, pick up his partner. Does get the close. We'll probably see him come down and score. Does hit that single 19. So again, closes their number down. Sandra's going to walk up needing to close another number in order to score some more points. Really needs this last art triple. Oh, and only going to come away with a single mark. Yeah, you saw the frustration in Sandra's face there. As soon as she let go of that third dart, she knew it was a bad one. And, and you Trisha can... again with the bottom of the board triples. Again, does the business though, just closing that uh, that next number. You see Trisha back there with the, the big smile and the err. Like I I have to admit, I've never played darts with uh with any of these four. But I think, ability aside, I would love to play with Trisha just because she's so excitable and animated and she, she, she relishes the big shots. But Dennis, not making this easy, does put in a 9 mark on the 16s that last turn. And we see just how powerful that start is. So we've got a team that went back-to-back -back 9 marks and is still not in a overwhelmingly commanding lead. Now, Dennis did just answer with, with one, so they reeled one of those nine marks back, but still, you would, uh, you would normally expect that to be, uh, to be a game changer. Oh, and only two there for Sandra. So she does manage a six-point lead, but Trisha, the triple monster coming up, Wow, and an unlikely miss from Trisha. So, opportunity now for Dennis. Fresh off that nine mark he threw last turn, he's got another opportunity here. That if he can put in a couple of triples, it's going to be a game changer. Yeah, Dennis can take this, uh, take this leg and turn it on its head with a triple 17. Oh, and he's thinking. Oh, but he goes back to the 16. I think that was a smart play there. Yeah, risk reward. I, th I think he uh, he did some quick math and realized that throwing that triple 16 puts him ahead 51 points, and that's just equal to a trip 17 and probably worth the gamble. See Randy talking to himself a bit. Oh, and lays it in there. Great last dart again from Threaded Randy. the needle. I mean, two darts there, and he puts it right between in for the triple. That was a tough dart. So Sandra, lackluster so far by the standard we've seen her play, has an opportunity to really, really turn this screw. Oh, and again, only coming away with a one mark. So Trisha now, holding a one-point lead. She's going to go after that 16. Interesting strategy here. I thought she may just try to fill up the 17 and give her and her partner a good cushion. I think that was an indecisive shot. I don't think she knew exactly what she wanted to do when she stepped up there, and that was enough to miss all three of those darts. Yeah, Dennis battling uh, he and Sandra back in this match. Oh, we've got the sign of the beast. 666 plays 636. So Randy going to... With his back against the wall, we've seen him shine in, in situations like this before. Yeah, but we've also seen him take his time on shots like this, and he isn't taking his time as much as he had before. But still comes away with four 17s and a single 16. So enough to take the lead and make it so that Sandra has to throw a triple 16 to get the lead. Yeah, and honestly, averages say Sandra is going to put in a shot here. She's had two lax turns, maybe even three. She needs one to right the ship. Oh, and again, only a single mark. Unfortunate for Sandra there. So, Trisha, we saw her go at the 16 last time. Now that they have an X on the 17, does she change her strategy? No, she's right at the 16. Oh, she catches that 15. 
<laughs> to put a dagger, one nail in the coffin <laughs> yeah, of Dennis that, and Sandra. That was a game shot right there. Like that, she doesn't hit that. It we could be seeing Dennis walking up here to really put them away, but that shot completely took control of this game, forcing Dennis to only go at the bullseye. He had no other option, and Randy now gets to step to the board and look like the hero when we know that last shot from Trisha was really the heroic one. Yeah, Randy again just going to do his job, fill in the blanks for Trisha. Getting a single bullseye. There we go. Come on. Yeah, Randy, a great finish there. So they lead now one to nothing. If they win this next leg, we are done. You were looking at the winners of fifty thousand dollars if uh, if Randy and Trisha can pull off this next leg. Dennis and Sandra will have the start, but we did just see them uh, come from behind in that last leg. Yeah, and Dennis was the best player on the board in that last one. So we'll see if he can keep that going. We, we talked about his experience in big money matches like this, and we know that he shines in moments that are as big as this. But this is a team game, and Trisha seems to be playing really well, and Randy still playing very solid. Yeah, Randy, again, no slouch. We, uh, we're kind of teasing when we say Trisha's running the, running the board. Um, because Randy, a very capable player, and has uh, has put in everything that he's needed to to well, stay up. It's not so much that that Randy isn't out throwing Trisha, because in that last game he absolutely did. It's just a matter of by averages, Randy threw slightly less than his, whereas Trisha threw about a half a mark to a whole mark over hers. So it's it's all about who can step up their game in the biggest of moments. And as of right now, Trisha's the one doing it the most. So here we see her first turn at the board here in the second leg. Oh, and finds a big triple on the last start to take the point lead. So Dennis so far has done a good job of trying to uh, contain that uh, that 20. Now as a dart player, what's your, uh, what's your awareness in the moment? Like, do you think that Randy and Trisha right now know they're throwing for $50,000? Or do you think they're playing one single leg of cricket, taking all everything out of it? I would like to think that they were throwing one leg of cricket. That's what I, I would hope that I would be doing, but there's no way that that's not on the back of their minds. Well, I mean, they're certainly putting in a lot of big scores. For them to know that they're throwing for $50,000 and to be playing this well is incredible. Sandra's going to step up here, try to get that point lead back. Oh, and a big last, threading the needle there for 60 more points to add to the 20 she got with the first start. Retake that lead by 34 points. Trisha again with a big last dart triple. So as of right now, both ladies deadlocked with a 4.5. It's a matter of uh, Randy's 6.5 versus Dennis's 5.0 that is the difference in this. And honestly, the again, we see them in this leg because of that start. And there's the there's the fall off that uh, that Randy and Trisha have been waiting for on that 20. And they have an opportunity to shut that and start to run away with this. And Randy taking his time on this one. He knows how important this shot is. First start, dead center. Oh. Oh, look at this from Randy. Looking to really turn the screw. Up only two points, but takes that that 18 instead of pointing, and then down to that 17. And for those that don't know, we're we're quite a ways away from where these players are playing. And and when Randy hit that shot, we heard Trisha yell so loud that we heard it over here. Yeah, there was definitely some excitement uh, in that. Um, but a big shot from Sandra. Yeah, she's not quitting. Has put uh, has put some pressure back on these guys. Trisha was able to get the uh, the point lead again. Sandra's keeping her and Dennis in this leg. She she's certainly showing up when the when it matters most. Knowing that if she loses this one, she's out. Oh, an unlucky darts from Dennis there. So Randy again. Going to need to uh, step up here and score some points. 
And I think if we see him trip uh, on the first dart, we may see him slide over to that 17. There's that triple 19. Here's that triple 17. And it's just your world, Randy. Yeah, Randy got really comfortable in this leg, and he started stroking. Yeah, six two five in a deciding leg or in a in a leg to polish off a fifty thousand dollar first place uh, win is absolutely uh, absolutely top notch. Oh, and here comes Trisha. Oh, a dirty, dirty shot. That uh, that all but wraps this match up. A three point or a three number lead and almost a hundred points. No matter what Dennis does on this shot, Randy's gonna step to the board, staring down three bull's eyes for fifty thousand dollars. So here comes Mr. Randy Talashka to win the Mixed Doubles Invitational Gold Final at the 2016 Tournament of Champions. First dart a single bullseye. Second dart just outside. Third dart single bullseye. So he's not going to be the hero. Instead, we're going to see, unless Sandra can put in an amazing shot here, we're going to see Trisha come back for one bullseye. Yeah, Sandra's really going to need to fill this up. And, uh, you know, after after the way Trish has played and as long as Trish has been around this game, I think it's only fitting that she's going to get to put in this uh, this final bullseye. Yes, so Trish Romero steps to the board, stares down the bullseye. There, there it, it is. is. Leaves it out. Trish Romero winning it for her and her partner, Randy Talachka. Your 2016 Mixed Doubles Invitational Gold Final Champions. Your runners-up, Dennis Sandin and Sandra Erdman. What a final. You see Trisha back there jumping around. That's exciting. $50,000 to be shared between those two. Runners-up go away with $5,000. What a match. <laughs>